it's clear that you mix elements from many different types of music. Yes. Right? Uh, who did you listen to when you're developing your style? Uh, when I was a kid, I listened to uh, Jimi Hendrix and uh, a lot of Arabic music and The Cream. In fact, pretty much it was Hendrix and Cream was about it. I mean, I was, you know, like anybody, uh, living in a, swimming in an ocean of Beatles, but I didn't really pay attention to that. For me, it was Hendrix and Cream. Right. And my daddy raised me to be a jazz musician, which is why I grew up allergic to jazz. I mean, it's obvious that you listened to a lot of reggae before the police do, right? Uh, yeah. Who were the drummers that influenced you? Can you... Uh, Mitch Mitchell, Ginger Baker. As later on, I came to appreciate Charlie Watts, Ringo Starr, McFleetwood, but that's another whole concept of drums, which you don't get when you're 14. When you're 14, you want, like, thrash. <laughs> You play traditional grade, right? Yeah, yeah. Most of the time, Young drummers are really impressed by that. It's a funny thing. <laughs> wow, man, old school. And you get a lot of volume out of that. Oh, much but you more. Ha you of have course, a... because it's actually a more efficient way of hitting the drum. But you have a different way of playing traditional grip. Well, right? I'm actually not about fully that? correct because I'm one finger away. You know, it's supposed to be in there, but actually I play it in there. Right. Uh, where did that come from? I don't know. I don't know where I went from the correct position into that position. Probably because the, mat, the, the orthodox grip is designed for a drum that goes that angle. My angle's not so severe, so I move up a finger. Uh, would it be too much to ask for you to just to show? Because I'm, I'm very stroke. interested. The stroke? Yeah. There's the, there's the orthodox grip. That's the way I actually do it. Right. You know, I try and touch the stick as little as possible. So my fingers aren't even touching the stick. You know. So we use your thumb a lot, right? Well, awesome. thumb is a stronger finger. You know, that way there, you're not really using, it's, you know, you can't come down as hard. There, you've got that thumb and all the big muscles in your arm, you know, you can break something like that. recorded our tracks very quickly. Um, Sting would show us, or whoever song we were doing, usually Sting, um, we would hear a rough demo of it first thing in the morning and we'd kind of think about it, we'd throw it back and forth, we'd arrange it and record it very quickly. So 
the drum parts and the guitar parts, well, the, the drum parts particularly, because the rest of them can overdub later and think about what they're going to do. But the drums obviously have to go down first, and that's your backing track for eternity. You live with those backing tracks so, so frivolously arrived at for the rest of your life.